Well, big night for Jacob Jordan and Fall City Sacred Heart moving into the state semifinals. Uh, Jacob, I'm sure this was an expectation coming into the tournament, coming into the season, but what are your thoughts from tonight's win? Uh, I think collectively we all played well, especially on defense, and uh, that's what we kind of pride ourselves on is the defense. So as long as we're playing great defense, we know that the offense will follow. Yeah, defensively, what were you guys doing that led to success? Uh, well, we knew that Moore and Kunkel were great players, and we just knew that those were the two guys we needed to, to shut down. And Jake Freshel and uh, Evan Keithley, they did a really good job stopping them. Offensively tonight, it seemed like uh, your team was at its best when you guys were moving the ball up around the perimeter. Uh, speak to that facet of the game tonight. What were your thoughts on that? Um, it, it's usually the same. I mean, our guys are so unselfish. So, I mean, we just want the best shot for the team. So whoever can get the ball and get the score, and that's what we want. So we're, we're pretty good at moving the ball around and getting the open shot. You finished with 20 points on the night, uh, team high, game high. What was working for you? Uh, the three-point line, honestly, I was, I was feeling it pretty well, so I just knew like when I got my open shots, I needed to take them. You had a big one there uh, right, right before the end of the half, turned a five-point lead into an eight-point lead. Uh, I know you guys ended up winning comfortably, but maybe give a little momentum going into the second half. Uh, how big do you think that shot was? I think it was huge, you know, because um, they, were, they were playing with us, playing in there. And, you know, five points, you know, going up half, that's not what we want. So that eight-point lead really kind of gave us a boost going into the halftime. Yeah, and then you guys, I think it was like a 35-17 second half or something like that. What was it that clicked in the second half? Defense. Uh, we really turned it on. We knew we needed to turn it up and on defensive end, we did. You guys are going for three in a row. Uh, is there any sort of pressure? Where are you guys at mentally? Mentally, we just play our game. You know, no pressure. We're fine. I mean, we just play our game, and what happens, happens. Now you're to the semifinals. Uh, what's it going to take? Defense, honestly. I mean, whichever one of these teams wins is a great team, and we just know that the defensive end is where it starts, so that's what we do. All right, Coach, uh, you guys are able to win uh, and move on to the quarter of the semifinals. I know it's always the goal to take things one game at a time this time of year. Uh, what are the thoughts on tonight? Well, we, we didn't shoot real well. Um, they kind of sat back in that zone. I thought we took too many threes the first half. And plus, we got in a little foul trouble with our bigs. But uh, despite that, I thought our defense was good. We only gave up 30 points. And uh, even some of those were some tough shots that they made that you know they banked a couple threes. We fouled on a three. Uh, but overall, I thought our defense was especially good on Kunzel. He's a great shooter. And then obviously it hurt them a bunch when Moore went out with an injury. I mean, he's one of the best players in our class. Looked like defensively you guys were able to switch well uh, onto you know them offensively. Speak to that. Was that something that was an emphasis coming in? Yeah, that's something we had kind of worked on all week. Uh, we knew that we wanted to keep pressure on Kunzel. He He'll shoot from 10 feet behind the line. Uh, I thought Jake Freshel did a great job, and then he had plenty of help too. Seemed like when the offense was clicking tonight, it's because the ball was moving well. Uh, and I know you told me earlier this week that you feel like your team is balanced. Uh, at times, did it feel like that was on display tonight? Yeah, I thought we moved the ball and shared the ball. Uh, the second half was better than the first half. I thought the first half, there's a lot of times that uh, we shot threes that the ball never got inside of the three-point line. I'd rather the ball go inside either with a drive or into a big who kicks it out. We did a better job of that the second half. Uh, Again, our, our, our defense kind of feeds our offense, but we just didn't shoot the greatest tonight. What can you say about Jacobs tonight? I think 20 is what he finished with. He shot the ball well, uh, pretty much the whole game. Uh, and that was good because the first half we had a few guys that usually shoot better. Uh, they didn't, but he, he made some good shots for us the first half. And he just sees the floor really well and shares the ball. What's your biggest overall takeaway from tonight moving on? Hey, we moved on. That's the main thing. Uh, it sometimes doesn't look the prettiest, but we advanced, and, and that's the goal. So now we get to do this all over again and get ready for Parkview or Hyannis. Obviously, we don't know who you're going to play yet because they haven't played yet at the time we record this, but you know, what's the approach for you guys regardless of the opponent going into Thursday? Well, we, we've got an extra day that you usually don't get, so uh, it'll be nice to be able to, to break them down and, and the kids can watch some film and then we'll, we'll go through a practice and probably a walkthrough, so we'll get two times on the court before we play, but that really all depends on this weather. Uh, I'm not really sure what the weather's going to do. Uh, we're not sure if we're going to maybe need to come up to get here before the weather. A lot of unknowns. That, that's probably the toughest.